Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically Atlanta, Georgia. Even more specifically than that, I am at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library. Of course, Jimmy Carter, the favorite president of Georgia, and uh, his library is certainly an attraction worth checking out on its own. But there's actually a special exhibit right now, and it's not running for very much longer, so I wanted to get over here and check it out. They're running a special exhibit on movies that have been filmed in Georgia, a collection of movie props, movie items from uh, some of the films that have been filmed in Georgia as well as some of the television shows. And in the last few years, I guess it's been building up over time, in the last few years, um, Georgia has become almost a Southern Hollywood with all the films uh, that are made in Georgia. Very interesting to see some of the most popular television shows like Walking Dead and Stranger Things filmed right here in Georgia. So I'm very excited to see some of these items as well as explore the library of Jimmy Carter. So follow me. We're starting with the early life of uh, Jimmy Carter, some of his childhood objects such as his family's cherished salt and pepper shakers. And on this little high chair, little Jimmy Carter would have sat eating his smashed peas. Jimmy Carter would join the Navy. There's a simulation of the submarine. Oh, we can look through this periscope here. Here is Jimmy Carter's shofar, which is a traditional Jewish instrument made from a ram's horn. When Carter initially ran for president, he was associated with peanuts to kind of emphasize his down home persona because he was from the peanut farming community of Plains, Georgia. You can see that as a peanut with his mouth, his trademark mouth on it. And this here is actually a skirt emblazoned with Jimmy Carter's giant mouth. And some tiny little peanut earrings. It's the Peanuts to Present board game where you can go from being a peanut farmer to being a president. I wonder, I wonder how that game works. Sounds like that would be a load of fun. It says, I'm a Carter fan. So it is a, a fan that says that. That's rather clever. Also, they have a Jimmy Carter yo-yo. Jimmy Carter frisbee. Some campaign buttons. Most presidential libraries contain a replica of the Oval Office of the President. Here is the Carter era Oval Office. The last two three days and I've released of the American hostages from Iran. Negotiating through the Algiers. I want a pair of these awesome peanut mugs. Here's actually a plate that is celebrating Three Mile Island, a nuclear disaster. Um, this is a plate that was made before the disaster, celebrating the, I guess, the joys of nuclear power. You probably wouldn't see a lot of plates after the uh, disaster occurred in 1979. A Carter Aid shot JR. Hmm. I guess that was one of the possible outcomes for the famous TV show Dallas. Here's some Politicards. It has uh, the Carter family on it. There's Billy Carter chugging a beer. I wonder, I wonder why they haven't talked about him more. It's an exhibit on presidential libraries within a presidential library itself. Now it looks like the tradition of presidential libraries begun with Herbert Hoover, and as we can see it carries on. I've only been to a handful of them. I've been to the Linda Johnson Library, the Richard Nixon Library, uh, and the Ronald Reagan Library. Uh, that's a pretty cool collector's item right there. A baseball signed by all five living presidents. There's a homework project done by Amy Carter, the daughter. Jimmy Carter said if she had a million dollars, she'd buy some bubble gum and a Barbie doll case, a box of Legos, and some books. Even the president's kids have no concept of what money is. This is a sweater that Carter wore during a TV address to uh, tell people to put on a sweater to help save energy during the energy crisis. And Americans did not like that. Americans uh, 
that light being told that they were responsible for something. You see a lot of the gifts that was given to the Carter family by foreign dignitaries, including this super haunted looking doll. It's a very interesting portrait of Jimmy Carter made by Octavio Ocampo. As you can look, he's, his fingers, his fingers are semis, his uh, fingers on this kind are boats, his body is composed mostly of buildings, and his face, flags. And look at this, it's a folding decorative pistol given to Jimmy Carter by the King of Spain. I guess being president is worth it just for the swag alone. Now that's kind of insane. A uh, Fabergé egg that would open up, show Carter's cabinet, and uh, it would rotate and play hail to the chief. <laughs> Say Jimmy Carter nutcracker. They really had a fixation with his giant teeth, didn't they? was a gift to Carter by the crew of a transport plane to the Middle East. It says, Shalom, y'all. Now here's their current exhibit, Georgia on my screen, Jimmy Carter and the rise of the film industry. This talks about how when Carter was governor, he really pushed to have Hollywood come and film in Georgia. Apparently this all kind of started out with the famed film Deliverance, an amazing movie filmed in North Georgia. Meet Jimmy Carter, the man who blew up a car, burned down a house, and changed the course of a river. That makes Jimmy Carter sound more terrifying than he ever has before. Now, I've not seen any of these films, but I know the Marvel films are very popular these days, and apparently a large portion of them were filmed in Georgia. There's some props from the Black Panther movie. And uh, even I know this one, that is Captain America, as well as Thor's Hammer and the helmet used in Iron Man. And there is a little baby Groot puppet. Now check this out, we actually have a Moo Moo from Medea. See props from Medea movies, I guess this would be Medea's uh, chair, her oxygen. Even have her pills and candy there in the ashtray. You can see little trinkets there in that curio cabinet, including some clowns. Some props from the movie Driving Miss Daisy. Little hat, shoes, and purse. And they actually have the uh, Academy Award here, the uh, Best Picture Award. Now here's a movie I have seen. This is my wife's favorite film, Fried Green Tomatoes. Here's a tombstone prop that was used. The, the arm of Buddy Jr. there, 1933 to 1938. Despite the name, Sweet Home Alabama was actually filmed in Georgia, it's the prop from the movie. It's supposed to be uh, like when lightning strikes sand and forms into glass. And there's a sheriff's badge as well. It's a hat from Jumanji, as well as a ukulele signed by Jack Black. Can you imagine him singing some uh, Tenacious D songs while playing that ukulele. There's an assortment of various outfits for different movies. There is uh, a wig and earrings worn by Queen Latifah and something called Star. It's Joe Pesci's boots from uh, My Cousin Vinny, Marissa Tomei's dress. Here's Kevin Hart's outfit from the Ride Along. It looks like he is a tiny man from the size of that. And this is from a uh, something called The Resident, Dr. Randolph Bell. He's here from the film uh, Remember the Titans. Pitch Perfect 3. I didn't know there was a Pitch Perfect 3. And then uh, Channing Tatum's shoes from Magic Mike XXL. It's Vin Diesel and Paul Walker's clothes from Fast and the Furious 5, as well as a motorcycle helmet. The Vampire Diaries is filmed here in Georgia. So here are some ultra spooky vampire props. Oh, I like that spooky doll there in the back. And looks like there's a stake, possibly for killing vampires. Some sort of mask, maybe you can keep vampires from biting people. As well as some spare vampire teeth and uh, some more bloody stakes. And there's the rocks, um, ID and badge from The Fate of the Furious. How many of these movies did they make? That's also a prop from The Fate of the Furious. Oh wow, and here's another Academy Award, the 1939 Best Picture Award for Gone with the Wind. Actually, I've seen The Odd Life of Timothy Green, although I don't remember that much about it. It was about a, some sort of 
a plant boy. Apparently he would shed leaves. And uh, there's some of the leaves that he's shed. They're all labeled for different people. There's a corn husk doll used in the Dolly Parton movie, Coat of Many Colors, and Christmas of Many Colors. There's an Olympic ID badge used in the uh, Tanya Harding movie, I, Tanya. Here's something I'm pretty familiar with. It's actually The Walking Dead, filmed here in Georgia. The long-running zombie TV show that has its ups and downs. There's an incredibly creepy zombie puppet. Now this was when the little girl was lost on the farm and then was found as a zombie in the barn. Now that is Glenn's baseball cap and uh, one of Daryl's motorcycles there. Yeah, these zombie puppets are pretty creepy up close and personal. Of course, the main character Rick's shirt right there. It looks awfully clean. There's another motorcycle that Daryl rode during the series. And now we're getting into some iconic weaponry. There is Daryl's iconic crossbow that he has been using the entire series. Up here we have Michonne's katana. There's Morgan's staff. And then probably the most iconic weapon in the series is Negan's bat, Lucille, which he used in that horrifying episode. And one of the most popular TV shows in the world, Stranger Things. Apparently all the items in this room are screen used. See the Ghostbusters costume worn by Lucas. There is the buyer's couch. That is definitely a 80s couch right there. And that iconic alphabet with the Christmas lights on it. You can see a box of Eggo waffles that was screen used. There's Eleven's outfit there. And of course, Officer. Hopper. Super creepy drawing of the uh, Mind Flayer uh, drawn by Will Byers. So thank you Jimmy Carter for giving us all those great and maybe a few not so great uh, films and uh, television shows. Of course Jimmy Carter known a lot for what he did after the presidency rather than his run as the president itself. We're starting uh, Habitat for Humanity charitable organization where he helped build houses for the poor. Assault rifle is actually given to Jimmy Carter by the president of uh, Nicaragua, the show of peace. It's a Chinese voting bicycle. I guess it would drive around and people would put their votes in the back box. Seems like tampering would be an issue with that. Some of the work that he's done in other countries to promote health. You can see this is a healthcare puppet used to tell stories about healthcare and taking care of yourself. I actually heard about this. There was a huge uh, push by Carter to help fight this uh, guinea worm that actually grows in, uh, inside human bodies. Here's a very unique item. This is a foot coffin that, uh, if you see, it's opened up down there and there's a guinea worm inside. So it was to commemorate the hopeful eradication of the guinea worm. Very, very unique. Check out this. There's Carter's Nobel Peace Prize right there. Appreciate y'all joining me here at the Jimmy Carter Library. I'm um, always very interesting to visit these presidential libraries and see the artifacts from the presidents and also a treat to see some of the very impressive movie props they have from the films and movies and TV shows that were made here in uh, Georgia. If you'd like to see other presidential libraries I've been to, as well as other attractions, museums, amusement parks, and other fun stuff, check the interactive map in the description. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon. A donation of $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.